Happier. Listen, I love traveling and it was truly the best, most exciting and amazing experience of my entire life. This honeymoon was like a dream come true for me. But top 10 best feelings in the world is coming back home, sleeping in your own bed, drinking your coffee in the morning and just like sitting on your couch. Oh, you have no idea how happy I am to be home. It's actually the cloudiest day today, which I feel like it's perfect to just do absolutely nothing. However, I am starving. Um, I'm still like in Europe time. It's currently, I think 11, let me see. It's 11.30. We went to sleep so early. We tried our hardest to like stay up, but we went to sleep. Oh, I'm not wearing my ring. Where is my ring? Anyways, we tried our hardest to stay up as late as possible yesterday. So we went to sleep at nine and woke up at 6 a.m. this morning feeling amazing. There's nothing on the fridge. We had to throw everything out. Um, I wish I would have done that before, even though the apartment doesn't smell or anything but the stuff that were in there are definitely long gone. I have a few errands to run today. I truly just wanted to lay low, but I'm starving. There's nothing in the fridge, not even like frozen foods. So I'll be doing that. Yeah, I haven't unpacked, so I'll have to do that when I come back. I have to clean. I really want to mop. Um, as you can hear, I still sound and feel a little bit congested, um, but definitely better. For sure there are a few things that i need to return today from amazon so that's on my list grocery shopping cleaning making the bed i haven't made the bed yet because i did get some new stuff for the bed during like a prime week or whatever by the way tell me how two days ago before us getting back here we got a call from the front desk downstairs basically saying hey where are you guys please come and pick up your packages because the room is full with your stuff so I'm a little anxious because we've been away for three weeks and I usually get packages like daily, a bunch of them. Uh, and I can only imagine how many I have downstairs. So I'm a little concerned about that. So maybe I'll do a quick unboxing later. Yes, let's head to Trader Joe's with my emotional support cup. By the way, so happy to have her back. Quick outfit of the day. Not that anybody asked, but I have my wrinkly linen pants, some flip flops, this Amazon crop top i'm going to link it down below for you guys like a pack at my phone my hat also something else that i am so excited about is not wearing makeup i was wearing makeup while i was in europe every single day and even though i mean you guys know here on the vlogs that i don't wear makeup as often especially on like my day-to-day -day vlogging videos but i'm sick and tired of the makeup so i cannot wait to not wear makeup for hopefully a week we're back, baby. Oh, God. Whoever was sitting here, I don't know if it was Eric, but why is this <laughs> so laid back? Tell me how one time I took the wrong car. <laughs> There's so many people that have the Jeep Grand Cherokee, and I took the wrong car by mistake, so that's pretty fun. But let's go. I can see the way you're sitting quietly. your heart out of your chest i'm screaming help me forget all about today right back home now i was able to do some grocery shopping at h mart and trader joe's i got a bunch of flowers i also got a real baby <coughs> and since i went to h mart i also got some chinese food or korean food I'm really sure which one it is just Spicy, sweet spicy chicken, rice, and little miso. All right, this is what it looks like. It actually looks delicious. I don't know what this is. I think yam and the miso. The apartment, as you can imagine, is a hot mess, but I'm going to be cleaning that later because I can't. Lighting up the way I've had in front of me With different shades of burgundy her lips are softly closing in on mine. Is this how All right, it quick Trader Joe's haul, starting with some raspberries. These are ginormous. I also got my favorite Greek yogurt, coconut cream yogurt. I have these every single day. Mini cucumbers, 
broccoli, white onion, red onion. I got inspired with our Italy trip to have the tomatoes and mozzarella. These two eggs, these are pasteurized. These are like the super bright orange eggs that we love. So I got both because I know that these are supposed to be better. These two things and these I actually got from H Mart. Uh, these are liche and rambutans. And then they also had rambutans at Trader Joe's. So I got more. I got a real basil plant. I got a bunch of flowers, some sunflowers, lilies, and then another set of flowers for my mom because I'm seeing her tomorrow. I have half and half salt. These mini chicken tacos are incredible. I put them in the air fryer and have them for lunch usually. Banana, these ravioli, cacio e pepe, and ricotta and lemon zest look delicious. I also got baby beets for a salad, feta cheese for the salad, uh, the cacio e pepe sauce for the ravioli. Uh, what else? Did I mention the broccoli? Cilantro, bacon, these buffalo chicken poppers are incredible. Pizza, I got the ham and two of the cheese. I love these. Chicken wings, chicken fried rice, another easy thing to make. I got two chicken breasts, 10 limes. Don't mind the dishes, but green onion, spinach, tortilla. These are almond flour tortilla and regular flour tortilla. Dates, because I hear that having one of these a day is great for you. Uh, some avocados, three cheese sauce, lettuce. I got these snacks from Trader Joe's, tostones, or like plantain chips. These Jamaican plantain chips are amazing. Then I got some crispy jalapeno pieces. These coconut almonds are crack. Like, they're incredible. Jasmine rice. And last but not least, I got this guava hand cream. And all of that came out to be $264. A lot. This actually lasts us for like two weeks i would say depending now let me quickly put everything away i watch you as you drive do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just loving yesterday I fell asleep and then I woke up a little bit too late to vlog so today's another day like I showed you I did pick up the packages and I'm now going to unbox it all because I usually take a while to unbox it I just like shove it in my office and then do it weeks later but to fully organize I'm going to unbox it all I'll take pictures to then upload to Instagram I need to do something with my nails I'm thinking of removing it myself at home I don't know if that's a bad idea so We'll see how it all plays out. If not, I might have to go to the nail salon. I hate wasting time and money at the nail salon, especially if I'm just removing them. I am not going to be doing fake nails for a very long time, if not for like years now. So 
No more nails for me. But yes, let's unbox for When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright I'm currently editing the video, but I figured I would sit down and chat with you guys a little bit about our honeymoon. I got a few questions asking for me to do an actual sit down, basically answering some of your questions and our recommendations for the honeymoon. Oh, I planned it all and basically just like a sit down Q&A, kind of like the wedding one that I did. However, I don't think I'm going to be making a totally separate video, so I figured I would add it to this one. In terms of planning, I actually planned it all myself and I did it after the wedding, not during the wedding because I would have gone crazy which that being said i do think that you can plan a trip like that last minute ish because i got so many comments from either friends families or just people around me that i would not be able to book a european summer for july and just a month before us leaving and i actually was able to do it all so the first thing that we did was deciding where we wanted to go in terms of countries cities and we basically revolved the entire trip around the cruise the cruise was the first thing that we did book and we booked it a few weeks before our wedding in may i think mid-may or at the end of may our wedding was june 2nd um, so everything did revolve around the cruise and the countries around that we were going for the cruise We did a full week with Virgin Voyagers 10 out of 10 recommend Honestly, we are definitely going to be doing a few more of those because it was just so much fun It was my first cruise ever. I was petrified. It was a month or two after the submarine explosion and I was Afraid. I know that it has nothing to do with a submarine and it's a cruise but anything that has to do with a full body of water I I'm just afraid. So it would be my first time in a cruise. I was very scared, but it was totally worth it. I am not someone that suffers from being like seasick. However, there was one night that was so brutal and rocky and very scary. I just knocked out and the rest of the trip was easy sailing. So the countries that we did visit on Virgin Voyagers were the French Day Spanish Nights, which is Cannes, Marseille, or Marseille. Um, Ibiza and Palma de Mallorca. They have a few other cruises that go to Greece, Italy, I think Australia, I think Dubai. They obviously have some for the Caribbean, but because we were doing France and Spain, I automatically knew that I wanted to do Italy. So the easiest way to get to Europe from New York is Portugal, and I've been wanting to go to Portugal. I've heard so many great things. So we decided our first stop to be Lisbon, Portugal, and we did it for four days. We booked it again just a few weeks before us actually leaving. Everything was pretty well priced. Lisbon, I do have to say, was one of the cheapest in terms of the hotel, the restaurants. Italy is a little bit pricey, especially if you do do it last minute like we did and you won't be able to book like nice nice hotels um, if that's what you want. Can't recommend enough the hotel that we stayed at in Lisbon, Portugal. I'm going to be linking it down below. 
for reservations that was something else that everyone had me so afraid especially for italy but we actually were able to just do walk-ins for the entire trip however we were just a party of two so just eric and i which is obviously easier for them to sit us but if you have a restaurant in mind i would recommend just to be safe to make the reservation in advance now if you have excursions or any sort of activity that you want to do anywhere that you're going in europe i would recommend to buy the tickets online in advance so for the castle and central we did book it in advance and i would recommend earlier time because it gets really really busy no matter if you have reservations and tickets in advance i'll try to also link that down below for you guys we also booked in advance the boat days in capri and lake cuomo our boat reservation in capri was just 300 or 350 i believe and the one in lake cuomo was very expensive but it was one that i truly was looking forward to the most and it was worth every penny it was 1100 but for a honeymoon or a special location i think it's so worth the money and the experience in every honeymoon vlog i did include our itinerary in the description box so i'll put everything all together down below for you guys in case you missed it or you want to recap it all together i also got a question as to how we got from naples to positano because that is the only way to get to positano or the amalfi coast is arriving to naples and that is like a pretty long ride so honestly we just booked a private car you can take public transportation i'm not sure if they have a train but i think when we were looking they had a bus and we were going to be doing it however we arrived at like 11 p.m so we decided to be safe and just book a private car and i think that was 175 or 150 dollars from Naples to Positano and he did drop us right in front of the hotel which was perfect because I've heard horror stories of people logging around their luggage and having to go hills and steps with the luggage so yeah I think it's worth the money the ferry that we took from Positano to Capri we did it at the hotel in Positano the lady was very nice and helped us but you can do it online I believe and then for Lake Cuomo you arrived in Milan and you have to either take a cab or public transportation which is what we did we took the train straight to lake cuomo from milan um and that was perfect however coming back i actually did not include this i ended the vlog right when we left the hotel in lake cuomo but basically that morning when we were going back to the airport in milan we took the wrong train in lake cuomo and it took us the opposite direction and we had to take like a random cab which was a lot of money a lot of money so yeah not ideal but it happens and then the last two things that i have to say regarding your luggage obviously it's recommended to travel with just a carry-on to europe and i understand why because of all the walking and all the lugging around that you have to do as an overpacker though that is very hard however if you are checking in a bag please leave some space for the things that you're going to be buying because there's just so many beautiful things that you can buy in europe and you can obviously get the taxes back when you get to the airport so definitely leave space in your luggage and don't be like me um, traveling with an overweight bag the entire time another thing make sure that every single piece of luggage could be your backpack could be your purse your carry-on your luggage make sure that every single one has an air tag i understand that it's kind of like not ideal because yeah what are you gonna do you're just gonna see the luggage somewhere but at least you can see where it is because we lost our carry-on luggage situation in milan and we never got it back so if we had the air tag we could see where the actual luggage was so definitely get the air tags it's worth it and then last but not least do not do not travel ryan airlines do not recommend that's it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and little honeymoon Q&A. Let me know in the comments below which other videos you want to watch from me because I'm very excited to be back to YouTube and slowly but surely making a schedule. That way I can be more consistent. Don't forget to check out the description box for all the details and see you next time. Bye!